show me. You got me sacked from the old current. I, uh, I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, little guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come with strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. I've got a sinking feeling. Oh god, this on. Oh god. Pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power st
I suppose now I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. And Thomas's I definitely castle. don't want a crowd. And it's not your bleeding castle. <laughs> Won't take a minute. Nothing personal. <sighs> this won't hurt a bit.
Motley, pure resublimated dimotoly. The fuel of the future, now. to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Jump me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Sorry to bother. Just relax. Don't question it. District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. 
Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? What the hell? Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death, you better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Have you been sleeping all right? It's best not to fight, if you can help it. Shove them away and just run as fast as you can. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back in the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to... a safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Oh, that's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. My suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a while. The bobbies have a first on them, you know. Mum, Dad, I've come home. 
Well, there you go, Larry Davey. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Why do you take vanilla? You know it doesn't work for you. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. <laughs> Welcome to the bloody garden district. Are you all right? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. At least we have our memories. Right. Watch out for the ones with plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become wild dogs. <laughs> Last forever, does it? I think I used to run a hundred bases. I've seen one of those in a while. I would like one of those, please.
Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. <laughs> 